Okay, look, you Come already on. know who the hell no. we are. It's, it's happening. happening! That's all we need it to know! It's happening! I came to laugh at you. New Ensu Zabi is finally coming to GBO Next. It is going to be an anniversary rank event on August 27th, which, being anniversary, is when they released the game of last year in somewhere around August. So my good friend translated some of the things that it said in the magazine of the new Gundam, and it was, uh, it will use the beam barrier, which, ooh, I got some uh, ideas on how that's going to work, but we'll get into that later. Uh, then the second thing he said it's going to have is the, uh, he said it was an avoidance bazooka shot, which we all know would be his famous flip up in the air, shoot the bazooka, and Shars counterattack. So that's pretty cool. I mean, if they're gonna yes. have the beam bearer and the evasive, that's actually shot. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing like he used that. once. Yeah. Yeah, the and then it became. Thing. Yeah, and then it became the best move on him in fucking full boost. Everything. I have, I have a feeling that the next version is probably gonna be a lot similar to the full boost version of New Gundam. Well, considering how they ripped the same animation for for Exia in full boost into into next, I think so too. They literally ripped the exact animations. Um, so I guess we'll just run through how we'll run through the new Gundam first, and then probably the Sazabi afterwards. I love how we're shafting the Sazabi at the moment. But anyways, back to the new Gundam. So uh, how I think it's gonna work <laughs> is because Sananju exists. Down with space noise. How, how I think it's gonna work is. You got the main B, the B rifle, sub B Vulcans. SP one B, the evasive bazooka shot. Uh, the SP two B, a funnel barrage. Like press the button once, all the funnels go out. Now, how I think the beam barrier is going to work is you know how biometric works on Zeta. Uh, well, make that be the beam barrier for the oh. new, but it the timer degrades quickly, quicker and quicker every time it takes damage on the beam barrier. Oh God. I think that's how it's going to work. That's how it's. <laughs> That sounds hilariously OP. It does, and I like well, if it. it goes <laughs> if it goes down based on like how much damage it takes, um, it, it might end up just getting to the point where it's worthless. Because mm -hmm. if if you use it when you're in the middle of a group, it'll just be gone in an instant. And so then, That's what's what the point of thinking. having it? You're technically better off having a consistent barrier for a shorter uh, time frame, being able to take all those hits or to survive and get out of there instead of like a gauge that runs down per hit because what if you get hit by a garaby because like with Gone. the way garabies work in the game they do multi hits yeah, close and so if you if you get hit with like three double zetas with their garabies you can say goodbye to that shield in no time so i think one's good that's, enough to destroy that's the, the thing shield. that's the thing if it worked the, if it worked exactly like tri like tri the trevor said then that means it just be a lot. It just be a lot more safe to fucking do the SP one. I mean the pilot skill whenever you want, because usually when you do the pilot skill, you're left you're left out in the open. Anyone can shoot can shoot you, and you're just sitting there. If you have the shield, it doesn't it doesn't matter if they shoot a Garby or anything at you like that. You can easily just take a few take a few seconds of the shot and move out the way, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's already confirmed to have a dodge. Who knows the extent of that dodge? I honestly think it's going to be an SB1 or an SB2. Um, and as for the sub, it, instead of Vulcans, it'll just it'll just be them sending out the funnels. I, if I can get my couple words in, go ahead. Okay, I think go. the funnel system is going to be similar to the to the, uh, the dragoons on the Providence. How you like the whole triangle down to certain certain amount out? So like you send like one or two out or three. If you hold down for how long, you send out all six. Yeah. I think it might be like that. I, I, I could see it, but I kind of hope I, not. I, I wasn't a fan of how that works. Well, <clears throat> well another way they could you, do it. Are you, they could you didn't the, like uh, that because it left you out. It left you wide open if you used it like an idiot. That too, and it just felt awkward. It just. I would rather have well, like, be a barrage going it, out. It. It, it did, is, and honestly, there was Cubalay. Yeah, I like Cubalay. Yeah, and also fun. New Gundam still did that the same way in full boost. They might just copy and paste that. And I mean. Um, um, well, I was gonna reference the Shrek Freedom, but I don't know if we can do if we should yeah. do that. Shrek Freedom ain't gonna have that mechanic. I guarantee you, it's gonna be a pop, pop that button once, and then all those dragoons fly out. Just come on, yeah. Let's hope. Well, that's kind of what it has to have. Uh -huh. I mean, to even use its uh, Luminaire system, it has to pop all of them out. So, yeah. um, 
is probably not likely it? going to happen, but what I think could probably work as well is have a mechanic like uh, the Breaker series with their funnels. So for certain funnels, they have an attack mode and then they have a defensive mode. And what this one could be is you could press a button, you could send out all of your funnels to attack a target, but if you press it again, what will happen is they'll surround you with a shield, but it'll have a count on there, like say six, like it can take six hits, and then it'll slowly go down before it has to reload. So the funnels will, the shield will dissipate, the funnels will go back on, then you have to reload, wait for it to cool down. So, uh -huh. it's one way I think it could work. Yeah. Well, the funnels, I would prefer it either to be like the SP2 on the cubula where it goes right at the target, or it's a lock-on system like the uh, sub on the funnels that we have. Yeah. And, and the beam barrier, I think they're going to go with the biometric system kind of like. However, it's not going to last very long, and it will only deflect beam shots. Physicals will go right through it. It's not exactly the, like uh, how Koma says, yes, you can take a few shots. However, if they delayed a little more on the uh, initiation of the beam barrier, it, someone can kill you if you pop the spatial. I, I, could, I could also... For example, let's have... I guess I'll go. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, I, could also <laughs> see, uh, I could also see this. If it is kind of like delayish, you could get, let's say, hit by a bazooka. Mm -hmm. You'll get knocked down and then the shield will still be activated. <laughs> and your timer is kind of burning mm -hmm. down as you're trying to recover up. My question is, if we're in recovery mode on the floor, what will happen if they shoot that shield? Are they smart enough to realize the, sh the shield should not take damage and degrade the timer even if you're in recovery mode? Questionable. No, see, no I, probably not. I, I, think it, I think it should go down if you get knocked down. Really? Like, honestly? Yes. The timer should go down, but the shield should the not have is. an HP because if it has HP, those garabies are just going to break it. Also, yeah. there's something that, else that I realized we weren't adding to the new Gundam is its bazooka. Now, how, are they going to add the bazooka to its yeah, flip? We already said that. Is, it's going to do the, it's it's do the, the be just like it, full boost. Did a flip and shoot the bazooka simultaneously. I mean, that's a cool but thing. The, I think the thing he's talking about is like shot. the bazooka by itself without the oh. flip. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think it's that. By itself? Uh, well, 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 yeah, yeah, that could be like high. My friend said. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that'd be a thing. He said avoidance bazooka shot. As one thing, so you know, Breaker Three had it. That's Wolf also the thing is every game's had it. It's an iconic thing they can't have yeah. without the new. Well, that's yeah. that's also the thing is like with how many weapons that the new has, it's uh, the amount of like uh, weapons that it can have is very well varied. Um, mm -hmm. The it, it could possibly just end up being an RX with a funnel and. Um, how should I say this? Uh, a funnel and an avoidance. And so instead of a Gundam hammer, it has the, the avoidance thing, and then it has the bazooka shot. I mean, they could they could go, like, many different routes with this. So... Uh -huh. What I would probably think they would do is they'd probably use the most... They would probably do a little bit of editing to some mobile suits that they already have in-game. Because that's kind of the common thing they usually do. They copy, paste, and then edit things a little bit. So, nothing too dramatic. Yeah. Um, Which is why I, I said my funnel idea probably is the least likely thing to happen. Yeah. Um, I have one last thing before we <laughs> go on to Sazabi. So, uh, this is uh, when, when Amuro gets the, the new type god mode power green mist explosion crap. You know what I'm talking about? Frame. What are they called? From the Do Psycho, the the psycho, psycho frame? frame. Yeah. Whatever. Feel? I wonder if they're gonna let. Yeah, I think. I wonder if they're gonna let it have that, like, if it'll be a, like a buff, like biometric. I was thinking that. I think too. that's gonna be the awakening mode. Or I think. Yeah, it's probably gonna be when awakening. It, when it pops the SP, awakening. it's gonna have a green glow around it. It's gonna look like it's gonna smoke weed. You and Karin can only dream of having that. <laughs> yeah. You say what? I don't they think can they'll do add it, is a uh, double. I've been. Mean, I Trevor, think they might. You can think about it. You put you use your SP. You get two buffs. One, the shield, and two, the uh, the uh, awakening mode. The shield doesn't last very long, but the awakening mode lasts throughout the entire SP du uh, duration, or maybe a little longer. Uh, hmm. So while you have the awakening mode, your movement speed is increased. I don't know about the damage <laughs> thing or resistance thing increased. Yeah, I've got the perfect idea. 
when you pop it, you have you glow green, and then you get a super meter. Like your <laughs> SP two turns into like an asteroid axis. You pop it, you fly into space, and you push wait, wait, into, wait. The, into the battlefield. <laughs> oh, you push it no. into it. you help shot. Oh, <laughs> do you guys on that magazine picture? Do you guys remember the uh, CD? Or the oh, disc yeah. being like looking yeah, different. The, yeah, I, I suppose we can get into that now. Uh, yeah. Before this is obvious. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, my friend also told me that this is. He said it's an EX part. That's what they called it. Uh, and it acts as a disc and an event material. Combine those together. That's what you get. Disc and material. So it sounds like we won't. We may not see a uh, custom event material, which is a little disappointing because me and DS were hoping it was using cycle frames. We got tons of that, but. Yeah, I, I got like 55 cycle frame parts. I got 30. I got, I, I question this because uh, does this mean, are we, I don't know if it's a good idea. That's all I can say. It just seems sketchy. I think it's a good idea. I kind of just want to get rid it, of those cycle frame parts though. I, that, I think that's the main thing here is, but like if we have one disc, because if we remember like with some freedom of the early vanilla suits, they only needed one disc. And yeah, and freedom and justice, but they used uh, plans afterwards. Uh, once you got the disc, you needed those plans to do that. Um, which still, you could technically just reduce that down to just still being one item that you need. Um, but I hated having to hunt for multiple items to be able to upgrade my suit. And if it's, if this is the point where uh, it's also material to upgrade, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, now that's also the question is, are these discs just the development discs, or are they also the upgrade disc for the all levels. in one? And stuff like that. Because if that's the case, then you you could probably say that these suits are going to be maybe like a 10 disc suit or since it's a special event and these discs are like both things it could end up being like a 20 disc suit or maybe even a 15 depending on how they do it but you got uh do keep this in mind if that is the case this is a rank event so you're gonna have a threshold of when you get the amount of rp you're gonna get the suit either way so being a rank event kind of sheds some light on if it is 20 discs. still doesn't matter it's a rank event you, Unless yeah. they somehow redo rank events. True, but I think it's still. <laughs> they could I mean, instead of making it instead of making it uh, sixty thousand, they could oh, uh, make 000? it even higher than that. Hell no, BBC. Oh, yeah, hell no. You listening to us? They'll probably ignore what we just said. Yeah, <laughs> ignore, <laughs> not, not make it higher. Um, yeah. you have given them ideas and really bad ones uh. at that. <laughs> You know they're not listening. They hate us. That's why they upload their own. Yeah, videos. they don't like to fix our prediction. Right. <laughs> wink, wink. All right. So now we'll talk that about the Sazabi. Um, so what I think the Sazabi is going to have. What's Sazabi? Uh, yeah, we're finally getting the beam to that. shotgun. That's what I was thinking. I was like, throwing axes. I can see the SP1 maybe being the shotgun. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, a, an actual working shotgun rather than freaking. Well, don't forget a... about the uh, the little oh, beam oh. on his. Not the the beam on his uh, abs. I don't know. You mean the Garibee? Uh, yeah, 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 the Garibee. Technically, oh. the abdominal the SP2. Uh, well, yeah, the mega, the mega if you particle. Remember in, if you remember in Shark Counter Attack, that wasn't really much of like a consistent beam like a Garibee. It was almost like a no. A it was a they, they made it. Everybody. They made it, it a yeah, Garibee in games gun. like Full Boost for some reason. I yeah. think that's just they're the reusing they're probably just reusing things they already have instead of developing yeah. a whole new thing for it. Funny, because that's the same thing they did to the Banshee Norn. The Banshee Norn shoots out like this little particle ball at the Armed Armor DE, but they turn yeah. it into a cannon. Well, a lot of games well, have personally, to the Norn shield and this is I think they chest. need a damn... Cheer them. <laughs> Gun them. I would Wait, like what? that that's too. That's the time. <laughs> off topic. Um, okay, off topic. Let's... Um, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's gonna have the shotgun, the beam rifle, and the funnels. I think it's gonna have the Gary B. How they're gonna put that together? Blah. I think okay. This is what I think. Normal is gonna be rifle. SV one is shotgun. Sub is the funnels, and SV two is the Gary B. I can see that. And. Hmm. I still think that we're going to have to hold down the triangle bu button to send out those funnels. I just, I don't know, I have a strong feeling that's going to happen. I hope it's not, but I just think it is. Yeah. You Most said the SP-1 is going to be the shotgun, right? 
No, no yes. yeah, SP one is a shotgun, sub funnels, and SP two is the gear B. Hmm. The, the weird thing is, like, when you think about the uh, the things that the Sazabi has, it's kind of already some suits we already have in the game. I mean, you're gonna have the the funnel system from the Cubelay, um, a couple of its other attacks already exist in the game. And if you think about the Sazabi compared to the new Gundam, from what we were told from the uh, magazine, it almost seems like new Gundam has a lot more going for it than Sazabi does. Yeah. Well, I can also see the Sazabi's uh, beam sh uh, shotgun gonna be like the Yakushigus clay. Yeah, position. that's kind of. Uh, I hope it's not like that. that no, it, that... it 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 has to work like a regular shotgun. Like I honestly think that the clay bazooka on the Sazabi is a. I mean, sorry, on the uh, Yakushiki. That was an atrocity because it should not have worked like a shotgun. Yeah, and, and like if yeah, you get it down, it's free. Kill getting for, stunned for by you. one little bullet was really annoying on that bazooka. It yeah. really was. Oh, oh no, that that was the whole point of the bazooka. But my problem with it was that it needed to trap in every game. This is the actual function. It had to travel before it disperses, but depending on the distance, it would disperse early. Which is kind of retarded. Yeah, that is pretty bad. I mean, technically, you could say that's that how that's how technology works. Because currently, we do have uh, grenades that do that. They blow up within a certain distance. But um, for balance-wise for the game, it should have been a specific distance. If someone's too close, you just get hit with a normal bazooka. If they're far away, they get a shotgun kind of effect. So uh -huh. instead of, like, instant shotgun... <laughs> You're all forgetting <laughs> one last move. The shot kick. <laughs> yeah, so move like the triangle. Honest, triangle forward. If anyone knows about the kicks, they are the most stupidest. Like damage, like they they don't do any kind of damage, and they're kind of stupid. Yep. In my opinion. Ail strike and Shinanju. They're just like pathetic. I'm like really. I don't even yeah. want a shark kick if it's so that weak. Are we talking it's like gonna forward? Be that weak. forward? The forward, forward. melee. Yeah, or forward like melee. The side yeah. melees. Forward, forward melee. melee. It's always forward okay. melee. And it's the kicks in yeah, general that tend to be like the weakest out of everything. You know, when you did forgot, he the... his access drop. <laughs> no. You know, they could uh, they could do the downward melee to be the uh, tomahawk. Maybe. Maybe. That would be cool. You mean he just no, throws it at no, people? No, no, I don't see that. No. They're not going to do that. No. Yeah, I don't see that. They're probably not going to do it, but that would be cool. <laughs> The the only thing that with the way that the game is designed, uh, they wouldn't attach a long range move with melee a melee. Would, it would have to be it. like a sub weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. And they need to put a second cooldown on it or something like that. Uh, some hot bar, but are they gonna add another one? That's the thing. We're kind, you're kind of limited to four things, mm -hmm. so I don't think it's. Possible. Yeah, that's the thing. What about the asteroid drop? Drop. What about that? Huh? Oh, come on. That's, no, 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 no. That's a no, must. I, I, that, that, I will stop the SP. Come on, that's... give me what I want, BB Studio. No, wait, pop the SP. Let's watch that sucker just no. destroy no, the enemy I will base go... and team. <laughs> I, will go straight to J I will go straight to Japan and shank anyone who thinks that's a good idea for this type of game. <laughs> come on, if we go on a 20, 20, come on, thing. come on, hear me out, hear me out. 20 kill streaks. Be able to call down an asteroid. We're taking this into this isn't Call of Duty. No, come on. This isn't Call of Duty. Come on. This isn't Call of Duty. Twenty kill streak is barely even possible in this game. Everyone. The only thing that would make Hold sense on, for okay. Axis, it's being the third force. <laughs> Just Axis. Oh, Twenty no. dude. That I think. I'm mm, intrigued. Wait, see, Axis, that's wait, something. The Axis itself as a third force. Yep, it's got yeah, cannons yes. and everything. See, that's Entire, something that'd be way too big. Artillery, <laughs> nah, I can't even imagine. Like, no, that'd be way small, tiny bit. <laughs> no, that'd be way too big. They way. had to make a new map. Well, think about it this way. Um, this is something that I've always wanted them to do with the third force. Apologies for getting slightly off topic of all this, but like, it kind of brings up a good point. Is the fact that when they first introduced third force, they had with the words that they translated is work together to take out the third force but instead it, it just becomes a race to get the the power bonus and the drop and there's little point in like working together it doesn't really offer much of a threat other than being in the middle of sea if axis ends up becoming a third force 
what I would like for it to be. <laughs> it's stupid, but if it does become a third force, I want it to kind of be an event that happens, like warning, warning, Axis is approaching, and you have so much time for everyone to focus fire down Axis to destroy it, or else when it hits, the entire field gets hit with damage. Your bases get damaged, and all the suits get damaged. If you're low health, you end up getting destroyed. That itself cool. would cause people... That well, would that cause people like to want to work together. <laughs> kind of. But it's that would cause people to want to work together at that point. Axis is well, coming. You don't want anyone to die. Your base is about to get destroyed. The other well, team's base is about to get destroyed. Now you want to actually work together. I, I think the third force. There, how the feature. There goes Heliopolis. In some in, in some instances, you would actually want that. In some instances, you would want that meteor to hit. Then, if if you want it to true, work, true. I think this is how it should work. If the meteor hit ends in a draw, if the team really wants to win. The team would try to blow it up and kind of work for both here's sides. Here's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Hacker, with your concept, uh, the flow is that it better end up with a draw because my base is 50% uh, damage. Your base is 100% damage. It drops, takes out 50%. Your base is alive. My base is dead. I lose the match. No, 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 no. I don't think it should so, be like that's that. That's why I think it should yeah, be like that. Yeah, like I don't, that. I don't, I don't think it needs to be adjusted. I, my I, don't, I don't think the, but... I don't think it should do anything to the bases. I think it should just kill all players if that's the case. Yeah, I'm cool if with it that. Kills all, if it kills <laughs> all too. players, and here's the thing: if some if someone's at five, if one team's at five thousand, the other team's at four thousand. Obviously, the one at five thousand is going to get the advantage on this. Mm -hmm. yeah. all right. Also, I'm pro people who goes flawless. They're actually going to get a bet for once. <laughs> Or, or what it can do is it just reduce everyone's HP to one, and then it just becomes like who has the, who has the better accuracy and faster guns. So, All right. but that you'd be screwing over a lot no, of suits, no, no, especially, no, those, no, no, especially no. those people who use machine gun suits. Exactly. That's not all. There's also prediction issues that we are suffering significantly from uh, being foreigners to the uh, and Japanese I want to be area, very region. clear about anyone who says that it's due to us being foreigners no it has not been like that since the zz update it was fine for us oh yeah no like i've been fun i've been watching videos of people like um yuki yuki yami or yagi masa these are two these are like two players who upload a shit ton of videos on next they've been going through this type type of, type of lag stuff especially when the freedom came out one of them had their freaking garabi go from straight forward to down on the ground below them i, I had one of my friends uh i think he, i think he's in japanese or he's japanese but uh he he told me how yes freedom and justice their prediction was like everyone is suffering from that but when i was talking about how our prediction now uh, my friends and i are suffering from this he was like really you're suffering from that like his prediction was fine and now I have some friends that I watch uh, that I know they're Japanese too, and I watch the, some of their videos. Their uh, their prediction is fine; it works like normal. But then, if you watch some of my stuff, for instance, the machine guns will just flat out show you how bad our prediction is because that's due to the prediction being broken. If if it wasn't, yeah. the machine gun would like, be beautiful. Because your latest video that you did, the first half of the uh, Blue Destiny. of your. Uh, Blue Destiny, you're, I could clearly tell that your machine gun couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And it's not like you're lagging because like you don't see anybody jumping around or any of this other stuff for you. Because it's not just you to them, it's your connection to them that if, if you're lagging around, something with your connection is wrong, you would see them do stuff as well. Like, I don't know, you get that Ale Strike player who's in C just glitching out everywhere. The stuff like that, it wasn't happening, but during the half part of that video, your prediction just magically came back. So, mm. I know you, you, you don't agree, but when I was watching that, I, I saw Maybe. that. Like, as soon as you started hitting consistently, I started paying attention more, and you were able to hit people. So Yeah, there's times where I just want to rip out my hair with prediction, because I'm fighting a launcher strike, his prediction is A-OK -okay and hits me, but then I'm suffering to hitting a stationary target. He's sitting still. Watch my shot fly off to the left. If it was reverse in his position, his shot would hit me. Yeah. It's like, See, uh, the big problem is um, with the way that GBO Next is, um, you could basically compare it to Destiny's PvP. Um, all the content is on a actual server. That's how they update the game. And you can actually see this. If you go to your save data on the PS4 or PS3, there's no save data for your profile. It's just the game. 
because all that stuff, your profile gets downloaded onto a server to store all that information. Mm -hmm. So that's why you can, that's why I was able to take my stuff and go to my PS3 for a while when my TV was broken. And, um, not because of, you know, GBNX or anything. (laughs) Uh, But I was able to transfer it seamlessly without having any of that data on there. So it's attached to your account. Um, the problem is with the way that GPO Next is working is whoever it decides to be the host, that affects everybody um, because it uses a peer-to-peer kind of style, like how old Call of Duties used to do. The only problem is Call of Duty had a host migration thing, whereas GPO Next is you get two people quit or the host quits, say goodbye to your entire match. So Yeah, I kind of... With the way that I think, because it has to deal with like the way they upload to, because they use the server as like a proxy to host the peer to peer stuff to get people connected into that, because uh, that that's how you get into a lobby is, is through the main menu, and they had to have done something when they added in freedom and justice to cause a netcode issue. To just run rampant because this is this affects different people from Japan, America, all over the place. Like for a while there, I was having no issues when you were having issues, and then it swapped every now and then depending on the patch. Uh-huh. Don't mind me interrupting. I'm currently watching uh-huh. uh, the latest video that Trevor uploaded of the Blue Destiny, and it there's this Dynamus player that Trevor's fighting, and his prediction is very wonky that he cannot hit Trevor for sure. It's possible. At all. He's not Japanese. <laughs> Or maybe that's some of the Japanese are getting a He's just not a good player. No, I know what he's talking about. No, you it's not. He should have gotten a lot of the shots, and I was like, why does that not hit him? Trevor's mm. run, boost, boosting in a straight line. His shot goes right around his left shoulder, like about a feet or two above him. That's the thing. I, can, I, I don't know if it's... I know for sure it's like anyone in the U.S. suffers from this. Some people don't go through it. Like, I don't know exactly where Ven... Um, you might know Vensky the tryhard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah, there there was that discussion on the there was that discussion on the boards that we had where I was complaining about the um Exia and the Justice both having broken forward melees because you you obviously know this whenever the, oh. whenever the forward melee comes in it it doesn't hit for some reason even though your blade is literally sticking into their chest. Uh huh. Yeah. Exia. I, I, Exia. I'm, I'm, That's that issue. I'm very yeah, familiar. Yeah, with both Exia, Exia and ju- Justice. I'm never both had Exia it. and Justice. I I yeah I have it with both suits. So I mentioned that, and Epion, Epion Gundam 1999, he, he mentioned that, yeah, I have this same issue with Exia too. Vensky, he apparently plays Exia, like, all the time. I always see him on Exia. He said he never has this issue. So, kind of, so yeah, it kind of just adds on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really just dependent on the person. Because I, yep. the, um, <laughs> it's kind of weird that I'm even in this, because I did quit GBO next. And because of this new event coming out, I might actually come back because it looks interesting enough. Hopefully they do it right. But, like, literally the whole the dude that made me quit was an Exia player. And I had no <laughs> chance against him. Like, I've never been destroyed like that before in that game. And Exia I was literally... is a good suit. It, it's a good suit, it, it, but it sense. also depends on, like, who uses it and if your connection yeah. is good. So, it's just like... I heard all these complaints about Exia, then I see this dude just destroy me, and I'm like, that's... something's wrong here. Something is obviously wrong. Mm-hmm. So... Mm-hmm. I personally use the Exia a lot, so... Uh, uh, I can say some things on it, but there is a lot of issues with it. With it. the uh, daggers going wonky sometimes, the forward melee net not registering. Well... Like, and then I'll... sometimes melee is going overhead instead of actually hitting them. In the chest or the face? Yeah, that is. Uh. Yeah, that's annoying. But uh, I kind of want to backtrack because I know a lot of people also post this, uh, comment this on my channel, mm-hmm. being like, uh, like you said, the dagger is not trying. I don't know if you used this back a long time ago, but if you used it recently and say your daggers keep going all off the place, I want to say again that that is due to prediction being broken. I haven't used it recently. Mm. So last time I played was uh at the start of um the uh ifri kai and i yeah, that, that, don't that, think i had the dagger the issue update. i didn't have the dagger issue at that moment but yes the uh, forward mill it still had some issues like, like when people say uh machine guns need to be fixed it's not really machine guns because before the zz update funny story i was telling hawkeye about this i was falling in love with the leo because the machine gun was mm, beautiful it was tracking it was amazing 
ZZ update comes out, all of a sudden it's not hitting crap. I'm pulling my hair out. It's not machine guns that are broken. It's just prediction on a lot of things that just needs fixed. Yeah. It's, it's, a big, it's, it's, it's a combination of bad game programming and uh, ping. Yeah. I'd say. I mean, back when prediction is fine, I mean, there is like once in a blue moon, yeah, if the match is super laggy, prediction actually will go really far off. Like, it gets bad, but our connection isn't garbage 24 7, so what the hell happened? Something in their server. Why I say it's yeah. bad programming is because when ZZ Update came, actually, not even ZZ Update. A little before ZZ Update, freedom or justice. maybe it was the ZZ Update. I'm, freedom, freedom broke it. No, after that. I'm actually, uh, it's, uh, cube, remember how Cubeless funnels were almost garbage? They buffed it yeah. up, all yeah. the other suits were garbage now, but the Cubeless funnels is still somehow miraculously like 100% accuracy? Yeah. Uh -huh. so I know exactly little, what you're talking about. It's a little that, weird all of a sudden, one suit has 100% accuracy, but the others do not. Yeah, that's, be that's because... After a while, they buffed the suit. That's when they buffed the suit and they made yeah. it ridiculous. And everyone couldn't aim for crab. Cubile has all automatic weapons besides its uh, its ha its uh, hand, hand beam rifle. Hand gun. Yeah. So literally, so literally, that's why it was rampant for a while is because of the fact that everyone decided, oh hey, I don't have to really work to aim at you just to hit you anymore with the Cubile. And that's why I hate mm -hmm. the damn suit. Because people see, still have that mentality, and it still tracks ridiculously. You see, the, it, why I say it's bad programming is because on that situation is because I have had good, no, almost no lag matches, but the predictions were still a little wonky, but the cubula had that good accuracy. So it makes me think that they screwed up something with the uh, programming, I mean the blueprints of the program itself, as they changed certain things. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Hell, okay, I still remember Sorry. when uh, uh, when Exia came out, and then that came that weird. You go in for the melee, and you have that like frame where you just stop, and then you continue, and they never fix that. <laughs> it's still there. It's still there, and I'm like, why did this happen on a melee suit event? What the hell? Yeah, I rem I remember I remember that, but I. I, I don't have that issue anymore. Really? Like, I still do. The issue was there. The issue was there before. Definitely, I hated it because I love playing Death Scythe, But now I can't really play Death Scythe anymore because my melee goes everywhere. Hmm. But it did happen before that where I would just pause right in front of someone, and it would piss me off because obviously they're able to move away from me. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, also when I was using sniper units, they would pause, and when I shoot a uh, shoot a melee suit that gets that frame stop. All of a sudden, he'll like it, it acts like a teleport, a quick teleport in front of him, and it'll th like my shot will just freak out on what the hell just happened. Unless you so it's it's different uh -huh. from when uh, snipers their SP ones actually almost all SP ones were uh, slightly delayed during that. Yeah, one I remember patch. that. Th that's that's it, something that also happened. Were... Gear, like a lot of SP ones so weird. delayed. Yeah, it's because it's just so weird how you go from like snipers being like, oh yeah, you should always have at least a sniper, to like nobody used snipers because doing a follow up Garaby didn't do anything because you could always get out of it. To now, a lot of people are using snipers, so oh, they yeah. they <laughs> they were over buffed, which is they uh they've been doing a lot of really weird stuff. So yeah, I got two things to say real yeah. quick. One, the buff okay. on the launcher should never have happened should never have happened. They are idiots when they think that was a good idea. Two, because, hold on. Actually, I want to go back to that. Back when I first used Launcher, it was absurd with the amount of damage I could push out. I went full-on glass cannon. You guys know especially how much damage I could do. Then I got a buff. Yeah. Like, why? Even I agree. That did not need a buff. I could push out absurd damage. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is I've noticed, especially for the Launcher, People have been walking through my Garibee again. Why did that come back? Again? Again. Yep, same here. That's come back for me as well. Why is it back? Like, why are the bugs back? Why is this... Mm, ticks me off, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, let's talk about the good old ghosting issues I've been going through. Oh, oh you, man. Wait, you, ghosting oh. is back full force. <laughs> I, oh, I yeah. haven't been noticing it, I but yeah. You, yes. you, you have so many. You, you have so many people posting screenshots of this shit. 
Do I? Yeah, I posted one like a, I think like a couple of days ago where the entire team was ghost to me. I literally had to destroy their base just to do anything. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it it was I, hilarious. It, it started back in GPO one during the GPO one event. Every match I got, there was one guy or two guys ghosting on my team or the enemy team. I would see the base right. dying without anyone shooting at it. Or else I would be ghosting and I would see like everyone just walking past me. I can't capture anything. I tried killing the base. I couldn't kill anything. I have pictures and pictures of it as well. Kind of so, why I'm hoping they take this really seriously for the anniversary event because it's big. Uh, yeah, yeah, and a new a, a, a new fixed. update, a really good update. It's and, been a and, year since your game been out. Fix those bugs. And if I have to well, say a really right. important thing to them, fix it and don't break it again. Yes. Yeah. It's pathetic. Like, oh, you guys put your face it. fixed the launchers and then break it again. beam. Trevor, another thing. Right. The launchers, uh, beam, sh uh, beam shots are, yeah, beam shots. All of a sudden, making a ninety degrees turn and hitting at someone. I remember yeah, launchers used to do that, but uh, that can. I don't notice the yeah. curving. I, it still to... does it. I, it I mean, does. Yeah, I do the once in a while. It does. It, it, it depending on like the enemy, like for instance, this. Guy got this weird thing happened where this guy shot a machine gun on the enemy and then someone hit him with the bazooka. Somehow he got hit, but he still was in like he didn't get in recovery mode. He so my Garaby, I shot the Garaby before he got hit by the bazooka, and then all of a sudden he got teleported over to the right of me. The Garaby slammed against the wall. Yeah, then my Garaby curved. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Like occasions like that oh. where weird movements of the enemy can cause that, but it's not like it was. And, and yes, and another Garavi, double Zeta's freaking wheel wheel barrel Garavi attack. What? Yeah, <laughs> it it literally wiped out my team with his. Uh, he tried to hit me. I dodged. It did a. It's it, it it went like a tire all the way from north all the way up to down back up and down. I was like, and wiped out my so, team. So like, that's what why you call hell? it the wheel barrel. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I remember. I was like, what is this? I remember Which when crap? I was on, uh, not Heliopolis. What is it? Hong Kong, Neo Hong Kong, uh, not Neo. Sorry. What is it? Is it? Is it Neo Hong, New Kong? Hong Kong? It's been a while. Yeah, it's, yeah, New it's, Hong Kong. yeah, it's Neo Hong Kong. New Hong Kong. Okay. Yeah. Um, I remember when I was going after C. I think we were the host team. I think when we were coming in from the the north, um, or is the host team the one coming in from the south? I do. Yeah, um, host team point is, continue. Sorry. Anyway, um, I was going after uh, C, and there was a, a buster up there. And I was like, okay, I'm in the air, he does his Garaby, and I fall down to completely dodge it. And the moment I touch the ground, his Garaby slams down onto me. And I'm like... Exactly. Except mine hell? did a freaking... Mine did a 360 turn. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when the enemy gets knocked down and you just see the gear be spinning with them. Okay. I'm like, what? Uh, okay, there's one there's one last thing that I want to like touch on. And by the way, this video is probably going to be long At as At this hell. point, it should be a Doesn't Peru matter. podcast. Mega it Peru. Be. Remember that? <laughs> the one last year? I think it was the last just, year. Just, yeah. Well, dude, every welcome discussion to Mega much, Peru this, Podcast, episode two. Every Finally here. Every discussion yep. has pretty much, everyone, every discussion has been pretty much Peru podcast. You just forgot to label it. Anyway, <laughs> no. Okay, so we are so we already decided on the, on the whole thing between the two suits. Obviously, the new Gundam seems to have a lot more over the um, Sazabi. But here's the thing: depending on how that beam shield works out, do you think the meta will change? Because here's the thing: this suit this suit is extremely popular, so you're obviously going to see a lot of people use it. And the beam and the beam shielding is obviously only going to work on beam and physical. Are we good? Then other than physical. How how exactly will people see that? Are people going to stop using the cubelay? Because the cubelay is all free, all beam. We you know this. Oh, so okay. we got the it one true definitive counter to the cubelay. How could I go ahead first? Can, I'll just say this real quick. It depends how fast you can destroy the shield. Okay. Now go. If that's even a mechanic. So yeah. That is uh, okay. So here's the thing. That shield is not like Dark Souls holding uh, holding your shield up, turtling all day. It's limited. So, no, cubos will still exist. However, if a smart player 
were piloting the cubile or any kind of suit that uses beam, he would do what you would do in like RPGs and MMOs but generally. You wait for it to cool down. Mm -hmm. Unless you have the uh, counter uh, uh, type of uh, attack such as melee or ballistic, then you go full frontal. You don't care if it's a beam shield or not. Although, I remember in full boost, Johnny Rid Ridden Zaku shoots at the, the beam barrier and uh, it would block it. I'm like, what? <laughs> yes, that is true. I, I, that makes no sense. So, <laughs> oh, by the way, another thing I wanted to add was. Um, Damn it, I can't forget. Yes, uh, if, if it's so popular, everyone's going to be using it. In a way, it kind of makes it like, hey, look, I'm using a new Gundam. He's using a new Gundam. Now, only the smart player is going to use his shield loop, like, effectively. The other guy's just going to spam it, and then he realizes he just wasted the shield. Do you know what we didn't talk about? The good old cost. Like, how, mu how much are they going to cost? Oh, 700. Oh, oh yeah, this is, now. this is a suit... This I'd is like a suit be, that I'd uses like EX parts. This is a suit that yeah. uses EX parts. We've never heard of this shit before. Wait, yeah, it could be 800 costs. Could be 700. Be. Oh my god. 800? No, no, I like no, the sound no. of that. Safe bet. 50, 700. The safe bet would be 700. Because <laughs> if you look at the Unicorn and the Sazabi, they're, they're both... They came. It's hard to. It's this is really unicorn bad. And follow, and it, unicorn and Shinanju, but unicorn and Shinanju came after uh, Sazabi and uh, um, fuck. Sorry, uh, new gun. New. So I would True, say that they're gonna they're gonna end up being the same cost as them. Yeah, but if you think about why is the Gundam Alex on the same cost as the uh, Zeta Gundam or Double Zeta? I mean, or Q. It should have been like matter. a six. It's an upgraded RX. It should have been a six fifty. It but, should be five fifty. Hey, at now it is an extra hundred cost in the RX. Look at it. RX got nerfed, which was stupid. Yeah. Uh, nerfed down to five hundred. Alex, and no, Alex no, that, that, ner that nerf was great. Yeah, actually, it, you can't. You it can't can't wasn't run even a nerf. Build and be... it, it honestly wasn't on the nerf. I think only the thing that got nerfed was the boost. Other than that, it got defense. buffed. No, and all the... stuff happened. No defense. You, Trevor. if you run, if you run the defense build on the suit, you can't be damaged anymore. True. You can only be one uh, or the other. Yeah. Yeah. Trevor, technically, the uh, Alex as a 600 is fine. It's just the way they make the game suits more, uh, to use its weapon makes it not worth its cost. For example, yeah. if it actually, if the, um, uh, the uh, Gatling gun was something like a sub while on the move or something like that, and the predictions were actually not screwed up, that thing would be terrifying, like it's in GBO PS3. <laughs> yep. I still think that's stupid. But it's not. That stupid race gun should And if it gave the bazooka, that's another thing. Or, or the uh, armor, that's another thing that could have buffed up the suit a lot. Uh-huh. Man, yeah, sort of down really badly. Eh. I think it should have no, been purgeable. No, the armor is like... It's purgeable. Instead of being an armor where you take da like damage to your base health, like the duel has. Well, duel, right? Yeah. Um, you... Wait, no, that's a buster, huh? Instead of, uh, instead of that, it's got like a... In like, uh, Trevor, you know like in Elder Scrolls when you stack a shield on top of you, you've got this additional HP, right? Yeah, you, you, uh, basically... So, when that depletion, when that runs out, your armor breaks or you purge it like the heavy arms. Mm -hmm. I get what he said. It, yeah. When you have it... Um, to kind of... I'm oh, sorry. So, mm -hmm. I, I kind of want to answer... Um, Coma's uh, whole thing about whether the meta, meta is going to change. Uh, slight because we're slightly getting off off of the main topic. Um, it's like like you said with <laughs> um, like what you said with the shield. Depending on how the shield is implemented, it'll definitely change. Um, if it ends up becoming because we're looking at a suit that has a dodge with an AOE on it. So because if we think about uh, Shinanju with the uh, purging of the tanks, like. Granted, it didn't really work that way because a lot of people got smart about it, but like, this is a purge tank mechanic that you can launch towards a group of enemies and you can knock them all down while simultaneously dodging or making distance from that. Um, adding on top of that, if you actually have a usable shield that you can manipulate how you want, this suit's definitely going to be used a lot more than some of the other ones. Did, did, um, oh yeah, did you definitely. say an AoE with the news? Evade shot? With the bazooka. Bazookas do AoE. Does it? Like, they, they hit a small... You mean splash hit, damage. 
Splash, splash damage AOE. I've been playing Final Fantasy. That's what I'm used to. Uh, so I mean, but yeah, all bazookas, ooh, all bazookas know. have a small area of, area of effect. I mean, it ain't like so. fire crack, uh, the cracker grenade AOE. That's for sure. But I'm no in in yeah, next. We don't have bazooka splash damage like we do in GBO PS3. We just dumb though. Weird. It's really small, but I mean, it's still there. It has a larger hitbox. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. The the one the sad thing that I can see them doing with this suit, however, is they give it just a basic bare bones thing with a uh, a bazooka launch, and I could actually see them doing this when you guard. That's when your shield activates, and I could oh, yeah. and it has and I could see them giving it a special effect that reduces the amount of um, boost when you're guarding with because. You know how some suits, um, they have, like, a special ability because they have, like, a certain thing? Like how, uh, what's the small stealth suit that looks like an acorn? Um, that guy? That guy? That guy, <laughs> guy. thank you. That guy, the acorn? Um, so, like how the... <laughs> Sorry, that guy, so, uh, how the... I came to laugh at you. No, nah, that's fine. <laughs> um, so the, the that guy has an ability called stealth that gives it uh, something. So for New Gundam, I could see it having a shield funnel ability on it that when you guard, you actually guard with the shield on and it reduces the amount of boost that comes in. I could see them doing that instead of actually adding a shield mechanic um, just based on the way how they program things in the game. Hmm. So it's an easy program. It, all they have to do is just alter a visual effect, alter some code, boom. Let's just put out a another normal another suit with some lazy design to it. Yeah. That's what I think could happen. They have a picture By of the way. new Gundam, but it's just too damn blurry. I've tried to look at look at it, but it's just. But by, by the, the way, we were they talking picture, about most of the. Can't look at it very well. <laughs> we're talking most uh, about most of its like primary weapons that we always see. There's other weapons that it also has, like a beam machine gun and a heck grenade launcher. Uh, are you sure not the beam machine yeah, gun on but it's, the? Yeah, it's not really new? gonna. Does new have a beam machine gun? No, the new gun that also has a beam uh, machine gun. Does? What? Doesn't it have it in the arm? I know High New has one in mm -hmm. the arm, but High New has one. New gun doesn't have that. Okay. New Gundam has like these like rigazy stuff yeah. with like if, balloons Even in on the wiki says this, beam machine gun. Can't trust the wiki. The Go to MAHQ. Off. <laughs> Although, I don't know if that's just as good, but at least I'll take their word over wikis. DS, you want to tell a wiki story of Gundam? I know you have a few. <laughs> Why not? No. Trust. Let's get, let's get DS's if I, input think about on, this. on the meta. If New Gundam did have a Gatlin some type of Machine gun wouldn't it have been implemented in full boost. Full boost at least tries to it be accurate. The beam rifle that it has is actually a machine gun. A beam machine gun. Huh? I think I did what? see that, but I don't remember all that well. No, 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 no. I know exactly what he's talking about. No, the beam machine gun thing, he like took that from a Giradoga that he fucked up. Yes. Yeah, that. I remember yes. that now. Yeah. Mm hmm Yes. I don't think they're so, gonna use that, so Yeah. But um, if they ever want to, I mean, are they gonna add a new variant of it something? <laughs> Just like in yeah, like, we need our new HWS. Hey, no. We need that next. Oh. Yeah. Hey, let's not like... bite the hand that's feeding us right now. <laughs> yeah, we should feeding chop it off. We're feeding them. It's a free-to-play game. We're getting. <laughs> get... We're putting food on their table. <laughs> we. They ain't they're feeding supplying us with the soup pepper. I'll bite that hand. Past two rank events really have been want. crap. <clears throat> Blue Destiny. <clears throat> like, what yeah, the I hell? I, do, should I go into my, like, just sh go on my rampage of why I hated everything about that? It's a Peru podcast. Let's do it. How long you want your video to be? Oh, it's gonna. It's already long as hell. Let's make it at two hours. It All right. About that so, time uh, when three I hour podcast. <laughs> Woo! Okay, the get the popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. We're going on a ride. You next. <laughs> All right. So why I absolutely am angry at BB Studios for the Blue Destiny one? Why the hell are we getting the villain suit first before the iconic, the iconic mainstream main series called suit Blue Destiny? I was kind of like, why did you flip that? that? That I mean, to me, that 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 shouldn't have happened. It should have been Blue Destiny and Efreet, but uh, they went one Efreet first. Okay, a lot of people question why are we getting the Efreet before 
the Blue Destiny. Well, some people thought, oh, maybe it's because of the Re-1-100 model they're releasing. Okay, okay, I could see that. Then why the hell did when they release the Epri, they show the Blue Destiny in their goddamn trailer? Really? I'm already at this point kind of ticked off. I'm like, it would have made sense to get both, but why are we getting Blue Destiny, uh, not getting Blue Destiny? And then after that, the next event, what did you know? We get one event after the rank event of the GPO-1. So it goes GPO-1 rank event. e free normal event. Guess what they announced for the next event? A rank event for the goddamn Blue Destiny. I was so damn angry about that. I'm like, you show it off in the trailer, then you make it a rank event. Ugh. It's not even rank worthy. That's who, no, but no, by no means is a rank worthy event. Anger. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> kind of to play devil's adv advocate, um, the whole reason why they saved Blue Destiny for the rank event is because a rank event is a big thing. And so want you have money. a mainstream suit. That, <laughs> not only that, that, I will get into that after this, but like it's the fact that it's a, it's a, it's a, a main character suit. And so that belongs with a rank event. What I think would have been better is what I think would have been better is have the Blue Destiny at rank event, and then the one that comes after is the Ifrit after that, or do what they did before and give us both at the same time. Because if you look at their picture, the the picture showing yeah, off the yeah, Blue Destiny yeah. and the picture of the Ifrit, you they're designed me. in the way to show them both off. Because if you crop out their, the pictures and you put them over top of each other, they sh still show. One's leaning to the left, one's leaning to the right. And, so, I have another... and, the, and the whole thing with it being in that trailer, that thing was already completed. The Blue Destiny was already made by the time that they released uh, Ifri. Which means that originally, who knows how far back this was, they were originally going to release them at the same time. And then they started doing their stupid, let's release one thing at a time because we need let more me... money. So, well, ahead, I wonder sorry. how much let money me... they made off um, this rank event because honestly, right, the Blue me... Destiny 1 isn't even all that popular. I, I got... Let me put something out real quick. Um, first off, yeah, the dummy launchers are in the hand of the new Gundam. That was, a, that was uh, to that question back there. It, they're in the hand. And the forearms is a beam saber. Secondly, I'm not sure if we can actually like put any thought into their whole madness because when you said when you said yeah the rank it the rank event suit should be should be the main character suit why did we get the unicorn as a regular event and then once we get the sananju it's a rank event that did not make any granted, sense i'm like why granted i do love i do love the sananju i think it's a lot better than the unicorn uh -huh. but still that's it made no sense they, they well that was that's also the thing is like for that partic for this particular event, for the Ifrit and then the Blue Destiny, is like th they have these two suits. Why not use the more main character one for that? Because with Unicorn, Unicorn was developed way before Shinanju was. They were they weren't developed side by side. Um, so because if they did, then you'd see it in Unicorn's trailer, which obviously they didn't do. So wait, no the. U Unicorn was designed from the Sinanju Stein. He's talking yeah, about the game, not in, game, not not in a show. Oh, in game. Game. Oh, okay. I knew, I so. knew someone was gonna say that. I was waiting for somebody <laughs> to actually say that. Yeah, I, I, was I wasn't waiting. about to say it, but I remember we we're talking about the game, so I was smart enough. Yeah, I was waiting I was for somebody to some say that. Over here, so. uh, I had something to say real quick on that whole Blue Destiny. Uh, that was supposed to be with the E3. I think it was supposed to also because there was one other thing you left out. We have the CG pictures. Uh, and there was another thing. Gameplay video. A lot of people caught this. Uh, Efreet, if you look in your part list, it had, it said seven discs were required and then it would make a sec. How the disc stack work is, if the suit requires ten discs, it'll say zero out of ten. You get one disc, it'll be one out of ten, right? Unicorn's mm -hmm. ten discs, so it's zero mm -hmm. out of ten. Uh, Easy eight was seven, I think, so zero out of seven. Um, Efreet was zero out of ten, or zero out of seven, but when you went into your uh, development MS list, whatever, it would say 10, 10 is required. Uh, so you would have to have seven discs, and then it would start a new stack that says zero out of seven, and you would need three additional. Uh, so it goes, it's a, it, it adds to the factor, or it's evidence to show that they were supposed to be together. And, yeah. It's so dumb that you still need 10 discs, though, for that to 
and it yeah, they sounded change like it, it wasn't supposed to. Originally, need seven. Yeah. And originally, yeah. it was seven. Then they changed it. When they decided to make it one separate event, they changed it to uh, ten. ten instead. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, they just did that. Because <laughs> yeah, if you look at the wing, uh, wing Gundam and Heavy Arms Gundam, uh, they're both seven discs, mm, and they're what? together. Mm -hmm. Like it's mm, not heavy, arms five. heavy Arms is five. Yeah, was, was it five? five? Yeah, like yeah, that was actually one of the five. cheapest ones we had. I think Hammurabi was. Dude, did we ever? Did we ever get an event where you have two suits that both require seven? Uh, Kubele and uh, Hyakushiki? No, Hyakushiki was five. Uh, yeah, no. Eight, 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 and, uh, yeah. Wing and heavy arms. No, wing and heavy, heavy arms, arms was five. five. There seven. was never an event where they were both seven and seven discs. There never was. Yeah. Really? Mm, yep, really. So, Huh. I wonder if, like, maybe the Blue Destiny was originally supposed to be 10, and then the Ifrit was supposed to be 7. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Maybe. Could it's hard been. to say, because, like, with, with the way that event discs work, you can't really prove that theory. What's the Blue so. Destiny cost? 500 or 600? 500. Ifrit and background. Blue Destiny is 500. <laughs> I mean, like, five, I mean, 10 discs... I, I can't even see costs, Blue, Blue, BD1 being 10 discs requirements. If it, if the predictions were good, then I can understand because then the machine guns would have been freaking broken. I think everyone would jump to the GPA one though. <laughs> Blue yeah, one. but oh, so God, yes. the, the side dodge is cool. <laughs> well, the missiles I give credit where it deserved. The missiles are pretty good yeah, when they hit the you, are... and they have some pretty good. Yeah. Not that bad. <laughs> With the wired the missiles, aren't they? That so... is so cool. Nah, I mean, I think. I mean, I, I would, I, I would expect them to be uh, accurate if they were wired. They're not connected to. Well, <laughs> I know, I know, they're not wired in the in that. They're not like, guided for for full boost. They have wires on. Yeah, them. yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not sure how the wires. Yeah, in full boost, they're guided. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Stupid thought. It's it, cool. it's something used to guide the missiles. Yeah. Well. So, we have any... are we going to do like a final thought Blah. kind of thing, or do we have anything else that we want to bring up? Anyone? Uh, let's just remind everybody that the event starts August 27th. It is a rank event, so get your wall prepared. It's about 100. Because, you know, they want that money. <laughs> it's about... You probably will not have to spend more than 50. More than 50. Well, true. No, true. Yeah, because remember the first oh. week, the first week is always, they give you like 1.5. Uh, like 0.5 extra RP, something like that. No, it's twice. If you want it day it's, one, it's double. Twice. It's double, double on every bonus. 50 is good enough. If you want to complete the whole rank event, 100. Unless you yeah, want if you it. really want, you want these suits, it's best to go at it. It's best to go at it as soon as it starts. Like the first week, just go at it like crazy. But 50, you you might be able to complete the whole thing off 50. You just have to stay on top of playing free energies. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. I would actually like to make the mention of anybody who is watching this, and if you do have a PS4 and you're not already a part of it, we do have a PS4 community that you can join. Um, I don't know the exact name. Trevor, do you remember Gundam what the name community, is? Gundam Community USA. Gundam Community USA. Yep. 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 Alright, yep. So if you want to join a whole bunch of other, uh, you know, Gundam enthusiasts or GBNX players, go ahead and join that one, introduce yourself, and just, you know, Try and be, try and be nice to other people. Uh, this game does bring out a little bit of rage. So, but oh, yeah. Yeah. if you're if you're Marvel interested Trolls. in sharing if you're interested in sharing your Gundam experience, go ahead and search us up on the PlayStation community list, and you should be able to find us. Oh. So, all right. I have one uh, last thing to say. Uh, I came to laugh at you. I was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> okay. Okay, this, this, oh my god, who, who put that Twilight Zone up? Alright, that has nah. been, I guess, oh, hey, hey, I hey, guess don't we'll cut me it. off. We'll call it's it and make, we'll don't, don't, don't cut me off. I was about to say, Trevor, you know exactly what I was about to say, this is kind of important. Any, anyway, Go oh ahead. my god. We're waiting. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. <laughs> Any, anyway, me and Tre me and Trevor here are going to be working on a tier tier list for the game, and we were ho and we were hoping that once we're done with it, you can all put your input. I'll probably be st I'll probably be posting it up on game on a game facts site um sometime, make a thread, and hopefully we'll link it in one of the videos. We ask that you put your thoughts in on the list. Yep, Ooh, I do have one thing though. Right. You You're can guarantee this, the din's a tier F. <laughs> no, no, wait, no, Trevor, no, 
<laughs> no, no. The Dean is not a tier F. It's a tier U. Unwanted. <laughs> unwanted. <laughs> Hang on. So essentially, the Din is a never used Pokemon tier. Yes. And you. Uh, <laughs> magic car. Magic car. <laughs> Dear God. Splash attack. All right, that has been Mega Pro Podcast, Episode 2, the one that finally came. Okay, so uh, if you want to check out my friend's channels, Azura's Cry for Az. Um, and then there is Dragoon System, uh, also known as Gundam Fan 520 for his YouTube. Uh, so yeah, go check him out if you're interested, and we'll all catch you later. I'm just saying, Pokemon. that title sounds dirty. <laughs>